AI is taking over the internet right now. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure that you've heard of ChatGPT by now. Now, ChatGPT is this insane AI that has been generated by the company OpenAI. It is essentially a deep learning AI that has a huge bank of information and it can literally write as if it is a human. It was designed and created so it can deliver human-like copy in really simple flow text that literally looks like a human has written it. Now, this obviously makes it an extremely valuable tool for a ton of different services online. But if you're anything like me, you would have seen a couple of business opportunities here and you could have seen how you could be making a ton of money with OpenAI's ChatGPT. Now, by the time you finish this video today, you will be walking away with a much deeper understanding of how you could utilize ChatGPT for yourself and how you can create businesses using the OpenAI's APIs. I know there's a lot of eyes, 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 but it would all make sense. Now you probably would have seen recently all over TikTok and all over Instagram, your friends spamming photos of them looking like they're from the future, or looking like they're from some bohemian rap song. Now, this was an app called Lenza AI. Now, what if I was to tell you Lenza actually generated over $10 million in under a week just through organic marketing, through TikTok and Instagram, and through people posting these images of themselves and then other people asking where they got it from. The way that it worked is you would go onto Lenza AI's application, you would then upload 10 to 20 selfies, and then you would pay $10 to then get 100 photos generated of you using an AI technology. Now, they ended up making something crazy like 10 million in that one week, and it absolutely blew up. Everyone was there. I even did it. It was just so good to see that this business just literally happened like that, and all of these people were obsessed with it and suddenly introduced into the world of AI and the capabilities of this tech. Now, that is not even the crazy part. The crazy part is Lenza AI were just piggybacking off the back of another AI service. These guys didn't create the AI these guys aren't the owners of the AI. They just utilized and pretty much drop shipped the AI basically. So they could then sell it on and package it up in a nice bundle that made it really simple and easy for people to buy it. You know, you've got business A over here that has generated this AI and the website's kind of clunky. It's kind of difficult to use. People don't really get it. People don't really understand how they even, you know, create the images to start or what they need to type in to get the images that they want. Now, what Lens has done is they've simply just taken that information they've hosted it on their own platform they've made it super simple to follow they've made it really really easy for people to understand removed loads of like tedious steps that don't need to be there and then they just sold it they sold a free service and made millions in the process. And this is exactly what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. There are tons of opportunities with AI and they are so under the radar that if you are watching this video, you are gonna have the biggest head start of all time. I guarantee you that. Now you have two paths that you can take. If you've got money and if you've got experience in coding or working in business, you can go ahead and do something similar to Lenza AI. You can create your own platform, do your own marketing, and you know, just host an AI system from an API, plug in the keys and manage it on your own private platform. But what I understand is a lot of people watching this video probably don't have the experience in coding and probably don't have the funds to just chuck 10 grand at a developer to get things built. And with that being said, every single example that I'm gonna talk about today, you can literally arbitrage the AI, go out manually and sell to people, sell these different services to people that we're gonna talk about. And then you can just go back onto the AI itself, do the work and then deliver it to your new client or customer without having any custom built platforms or anything like that. Now, before we do get started, like I said, the opportunity is that we are so, so early. Two to three years from now, we are gonna see AI everywhere. We are gonna see so many jobs and tasks just replaced by AI. It's eventually gonna be extremely competitive and super hard to break into. So wait sure you watch this video because we need to get in early here and get these businesses started. So let's just get started. Let's take a look at some of these examples of businesses that you could get started with today. Obviously, it's up to you how deep you wanna go into these, whether you wanna create a custom platform and use an API, or simply just arbitrage the service and sell it onto clients or 
you know, sell it in the DMs on Instagram, whatever you want to do. Now, the number one and most obvious example of business that you can create using ChatGPT is going to be sales copywriting. You know, whether that's generating product descriptions, generating email subjects, video title, Twitter threads. You know, copywriting is a huge, huge part of any business. It helps with sales. It helps educate customers in terms of what someone's product actually is and what it can do for them. And the possibilities really are endless with a platform such as ChatGPT. You could, for example, go onto ChatGPT, type in, give me 10 email subjects for someone selling horse saddles. I don't, whatever it is. And then ChatGPT is going to go away take literally four or five seconds and it's going to give you 10 compelling email subjects that you can then sell on to your client or your customer now imagine if you had a platform where someone could just jump on there type in what they needed an email subject for your api then reflects back and writes it for them they then pay you a service perhaps they pay a monthly fee there you go bob's your uncle you've just made a business my friend the next opportunity is going to be within the seo field now for those of you who don't know what seo is if i went to google right now and i type in Liam Evans, there is going to be a ton of people called Liam Evans, especially people on YouTube. So what do I need to do to be that number one guy who sits at rank number one on Google? I need to be creating content in the field that I'm in that is both valuable and accurate. I used to own a custom fish tank installation company. Now, when I made this business, I had no clue about SEO, but over time I learned it. And what was really beneficial was writing blogs, creating a newsletter, being super active on social media, talking about one topic. Now, this is great, but it takes a long time. But luckily, it doesn't take a long time for ChatGPT. You can literally get ChatGPT to write really in-depth articles and mini newsletters about a certain topic and a certain field, and that is gonna help your SEO. So you can literally go to clients right now and say, hey, look, I'm gonna write you newsletters every single week in your industry and I'm gonna send you 10 examples every single week for you to pick from. Now, this isn't gonna take you a long time because the AI literally does it for you, but there is a service that you can sell right there. Now, you may be thinking like, you know, how does it look when it comes out on ChatGPT? Is it sellable straight away? Does it sound like a human is saying it? And that is literally what it's been designed for. It has been designed so it looks like a human has written it. Sometimes it's not in the tone of voice when I use it. So I then just jump in, make a few edits, add a few words that I would say, and it literally looks like something that I've written. You know, it just sources information from the web and it compiles it into a really well-written format. So offering a newsletter, SEO, or a blog service is insanely valuable. One, it saves people a ton of time. And two, people just really struggle with SEO. It's kind of got this like Ugh, feeling to it. People are scared of it because they just don't get it. But if you do understand it and if you can utilize AI in this, then you are going to be winning. Now, this next one isn't necessarily a business, but you could for sure sell this as a service on the likes of Fiverr or Upwork. There are companies out there that are building games, for example and they're trying to generate what a world would look like, or they want to do some character design, or they want to build up this universe to kind of get a look and feel of the overall game or you know concept art. You can literally go onto a platform like Midjourney, which is another AI, and you can type in how you want a scene to look. What's gonna happen is Midjourney is then gonna start creating pieces of art that look like what you've typed in. This removes so much time in concept and planning and obviously man hours of actually sketching out these pieces of art and drawing something out. And you can literally provide examples in under two minutes. Now these would just be used as concept pieces. This solves a huge issue and this is the biggest opportunity that I see with AI. This is gonna save people a lot of time. You could create a business in concept art that is all generated by AI. As long as you have a creative mind and you know what to put into the prompt so the AI knows what to draw and make, then you can literally sell that as a service. Now I understand that's kind of a niche opportunity, so that leads me into the next example, and that is creating digital products. If you go onto Etsy, you'll be able to find people that are making millions every single year selling people dream visions and what do dreams look like? You know, sketch my dream out. Can you envision what my dream is? What if I was to tell you that I've been making money selling AI dream representations 
on Etsy for the past three months. I've literally been doing this. This is something that I've done just to trial out and see if it works and it works perfectly and people are so, so happy about it. I would have people come to me, they would pay me $25 and they would just explain what their dream was. They wanted to visualize that and they wanted to see it as a piece of art. They would then send me what the dream was, what was happening, what they saw and what they felt. I would then go and I would prompt that into mid journey and it would come up with this beautiful piece of art that I could then send to the customer for them to then visualize and see their dream. Now, obviously this is just a fun product that people just wanted to mess around with. They wanted to see what that dream looked like and it is one of many opportunities and this worked. People were buying it. So there is so much opportunity for you on Etsy, Fiverr to create these custom pieces of artwork. If you go into Etsy right now, I guarantee you, you'll be able to find hundreds of listings of people that sketch out family portraits and put them on canvases and then ship them to people for like 80 bucks. What if you was to say, I can do that for you, but I can make your family aliens or I can turn your family into Simpsons characters or I can turn your family into dogs, whatever it is. You can add an image that your customer sends you into mid journey and you can just say, turn these people into aliens and AI does the rest for you. And I know it sounds like a crazy idea and a crazy concept, but some of the best ideas that I've ever had in my life that have made me the most money have been the most ridiculous ones. So definitely, definitely don't overlook this. Midjourney has a ton of capability for this and it's something you should check out. Go on Etsy, type in, you know, draw me this or make me this and you'll be surprised how much money people are making. The next business is going to be using AI to create thumbnails. So you can actually make yourself a thumbnail agency for YouTubers. Take this thumbnail on this video, for example. All you really need is a clear vision and understanding of what you want on your thumbnail. Perhaps the images that are in your mind don't exist on Google. So the easiest thing for you to do is to go onto an AI platform, type in exactly what you want, work that AI platform to get how you want it, and then you can use that piece of art for yourself. You can put that onto your thumbnail. Do that a few times and you can build yourself the perfect thumbnail and start charging for that service. This essentially removes any need for a custom artist or someone that's gonna spend hours to build a thumbnail because AI can literally do it in minutes and it can be exactly how you want it to be. This is just another example of how you could use AI in a smart way and get really creative with it. This next one is kind of scary. It's called Simp Asia. What Simp Asia allows you to do is it allows you to turn text into a video in less than 30 seconds. Now, the scariest thing about this video, it is as if a real human is talking back to you. You can literally write a script and this human will then talk your script out and it looks real. It's like crazy, crazy real. So what can you use for this? What can you do? Well, you could offer this service again out on Fiverr. You could create a business around this, doing help tutorials for different businesses, making a YouTube channel where you don't ne even need to be the person that is in front of the camera. Like this solves so many issues. And again, it's just another opportunity for you to arbitrage this AI and sell it on to businesses that don't even know that it exists. Imagine if you worked with education companies and they didn't want to put their face out there and you said, you could provide videos of people talking about the subjects that they're teaching. All they had to do was provide you with the scripts, then you could send back the video of a human delivering that script to their clients or their students. Well, Synth Asia literally does this and solves that problem. That's something you can sell right there. The next one is huge for all of you SMMA guys out there or people that are looking to create a social media agency. This one is called repurpose.io. And what repurpose does is it does exactly what it says in the tin. You create content for one platform, you go onto repurpose AO and their AI technology is going to literally repurpose that content for every single social media platform that you want it made for. Now, again, what this does is it saves time and it's super easy to sell this into people because people don't have the time to manage their social media. I know I should be posting more on TikTok. I know that I should be posting more on LinkedIn, but I don't do it. I'm too busy or so I say I'm too busy. I can literally hire repurpose.io and it can be done for me. So I probably will do that. But 
That's not my point. This is literally a social media management package right here. And it's in the form of this beautifully packaged AI. The list honestly goes on. And in this field, it's just about being as creative as possible. Packaging things up in a really simple and easy way. So people receive value for little to no effort. And whether they know you're using AI or not, it doesn't really matter. As long as they're getting value from your service, then you're onto a winner. Now, like I said, you can go out and build your own platforms or you can just just go and sell services in the DMs. Whatever you need to do or whatever you want to do just to get started, go and do it. Just go and start today because right now we are so, so early. If you did like this video and you wanna see more AI content from myself, talking about how you can create businesses or maybe even seeing me creating some of these businesses in real time, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments, are you scared of AI? But guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.